In today's video, I wanna show you how I can bump up my quick, busy mom makeup routine and quickly transform it into a camera ready look with minimal amount of product. If you haven't had a chance to watch my seven product, seven minute busy mom makeup routine, go ahead and check that out before you dive into this video. If I started my makeup application with the intent of being camera ready, I would do all of this in a different order. In the scenario of you already got yourself ready in the morning and you need to bump it up for either being on camera or going out with some friends, these are the steps that I want you to take. My first step to bump everything up is going to be straight onto the eyes because right now there is minimal product on my eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Matte Cream Eyeshadow. I put a little bit on the back of my hand I'm gonna work this product into the soft blending brush and go ahead and just start at the base of my lid near my lash line and just go back and forth until a majority of the product has been laid down. And then as I get up to my crease, I'm going to look straight ahead into the mirror to make sure that I can still see that product framing my eye. And because this is a little darker on the top than I want it to, I'm just gonna use my fingertip just to help soften and blend it out. I'm still using a fairly light touch to my eyes while still removing the product. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side. I like to go in little tiny circular motions just to make sure that this is a nice blended and gradiated effect. You don't really wanna be able to tell where that shadow starts and stops. I'm going to also just add a tiny bit underneath the eyes. And I did not add any product to this brush. I am just using what is left over. And depending on your skin tone, you can adjust the depth of the color that you start off with as your base. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and layer a neutral eyeshadow by Busy Art. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start at the very base of my lid, going back and forth, grab a little bit more product, tap off so there's no fallout. And as I get higher up, there's less and less product on the brush to where the depth is at the very base of my lid and again, it gradiates up. Next, I just want a little bit more depth at the lash line, so I'm going to take a smudge brush and just grab a little bit of a darker eyeshadow, tap before I apply to my eyes to get all the fallout out, and I am only going to apply this at the very base of my lid. You can continue to layer to get the depth that you want to create. I only applied the darker eyeshadow at the outer edge of my eye. I didn't bring it all the way in. Now this is gonna be different for everyone and it's going to all be based off of the size of your eye, the angle of your eye, and your eye spacing. To add some brightness to my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and use a nude eyeliner on the inner lash line of my eye and this is gonna help open and bright up, brighten my eyes. Again, this is not a step for everyone, but this is kind of just a little extra step that I sometimes like to take, especially when I'm going to be on camera. Now that I've bumped up my eye, I'm now gonna go ahead and bump up my skin from where it was at. With the first Busy Mom makeup routine application, I did not use any foundation. Now, when I'm gonna be on camera or on stage or going to go for a more dramatic look, I'm going to need a little bit more coverage than I would with just my natural everyday look. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of foundation from Makeup Forever, it's the Reboot formula, and I am going to just add a little bit of coverage on my cheeks where I have a little bit more redness. I am able to layer on top because I used a loose setting powder and not a finishing powder. A setting powder is gonna allow you to apply products on top of each other to help build product without being stuck with your finished look. The main places that I applied the foundation were my cheeks that have more redness, a little bit through the center, and a little on my chin and around my mouth. I am now going to go back and use powder products where I already placed cream products from my last Quick Busy Mom routine. I'm gonna go ahead and do this to reinforce the pigment and the depth of this product. I'm taking the Cold Classic NARS Laguna series. I'm going to just reapply bronzer in my blush placement. Building on top of creams is going to make all of your products pop more. So that way you could use a minimal amount of everything, but by layering the product, you're getting more pop with each product while still looking natural, as if everything kind of belongs on your face instead of looking super made up. Next, I'm gonna use a little bit of blush to add just some brightness to my complexion. I am using NARS blush in the color Desire. A little bit goes a long ways with NARS blushes, so I'm just going to tap the product into the brush and tap it onto my hand before I go into my complexion. 
I am once again going to reinforce what I did with my earlier application by reinforcing the illuminating product and I'm going to use Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I'm going to take just a little bit and go again right in my illuminating zone at the top of my cheekbone and only apply this illuminating product there. I'll take the same exact product and I'm just going to apply a little bit on the inner part of the eye. And as a final step, I want to just brighten my lip a little bit. When you're on camera or on stage, you're going to want to use colors that have a little bit more pop to them so that they show up. So this lip color, although it's my favorite, it's a little too neutral and I want to brighten it just a tiny bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just blot this lip, not completely remove it, and then layer on top. I'm using the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Lip Liner in the color 20C and I am just going to layer on top of the lip I already have and this is going to make it more pink and make that color pop a little bit more. This next step is kind of a take it or leave it step. I am going to go ahead and add some lip gloss. This is by Dior. It is the Lip Maximizer Dior Addict. I find that when you're on camera or you're on stage, having your lips have a little bit of gloss really makes a more completed look. Longevity wise, your lip is not gonna last as long with lip gloss. That's just something you have to know. What do you think? Did you like the matte lip more or the glossy lip more? In addition to just giving my lips a little bit of that gloss effect, this is a lip maximizer, so it's just going to help plump all the little fine lines in my lips to just make them look a little bit more luscious and full. Here you have it. Here is my bumped up look from my busy mom routine into my camera ready routine with minimal products and minimal amount of time while still having a sense of looking natural. If you enjoyed seeing this bumped up process from the busy mom routine into my camera ready routine, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I will also be listing the products used in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.